Hi, this is Mike from TheSensorium.com and this is Watch This Instead for Friday the 13th of May 2011. I want to talk about a movie called Priest, which nobody thought it could be done. They, thought, they said, Scott Stewart, don't even try it. You're, you've, you're already mixing too many genres with your last movie that starred Paul Bettany as a religious warrior guy called Legion. Don't try and jam eight genres together, you'll die. They'll find your body in the desert, but he did it. Finally, somebody created the octogeneric summer 3D movie. Priest. You know what they did out there in the idea lab, in the idea factory, the fun zone? They said, okay, cowboys and aliens, with your two genres, we're, gonna, we're going eight. It's a futuristic sci-fi western movie it's got cowboys in it that know kung fu that are fighting vampires after the post-apocalypse time has happened while suffering under the oppressive thumb of a religious authority that's also a road movie that has a weary war veteran coming back from the war like vietnam and he's shunned by society even though he saved everyone boom Eight genres! Paul Bettany plays a warrior priest, tattoo on his face, taken by the church when he's young. It's post-apocalypse. No one knows what happened. Nuclear war, probably. There's vampires now. They don't have any eyes. The church ro rules everything, creates the, vamp the, the priests as vampire hunters. They go out and have a big vampire hunter war. Paul Bettany, priest character, loses his best friend, priest vampire killer, inside a vampire pile. Cut to later, after the vampire war, there's no more vampire threat. Everything's safe, says the church. Not true, says the priest, whose nef niece has been captured by vampires, and the niece's boyfriend, who's played by Cam Gigande, is a sheriff, so comes to get the priest, says, come help me out. So he gets on a turbine rocket bike that goes 284 miles an hour in a straight line across the salt flat deserts. They go together to investigate. Then they find out that all the vampires are on a train, and it's a big fight. How do you not like this movie? There's so many different things in it. You would like it if it wasn't complete garbage. Turns out you can't just take eight ingredients and put them in a pot and end up with something delicious. When you make these weird genre mashups, it kind of sometimes subverts your expectations. So when you think you're watching a Western, you get into Western mode, and then somebody starts throwing freaking shurikens everywhere. You're like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then when he's throwing shurikens into a giant vampire beast overlord while another person prays doing kung fu movies, moves in the background, and there's a rocket train going on in the back, and everyone's using solar-powered turbine jets to get places, you end up kind of just going, this is retarded mishmash garbage. It can't decide what it wants to be and ends up just being this weird pile of genre cues, none of which go together. So what should you watch instead? I was initially thinking, Paul Bettany is a super talented dude that at some point said to his agent, I want to do two things. I only want to play incredibly smart doctors on boats in the 18th century or futuristic religious warrior people. So then he played Stephen Maturin in Master and Commander, which was a really good movie. He played Charles Darwin in Darwin, which was a pretty good movie. And then he played Warrior Angel in Legion and Warrior Priest in Priest, both of which were directed by the same guy. He was in A Knight's Tale. He's been in a bunch. He was in Wimbledon, a bunch of good movies, but he's so good when he's good and he makes such poor choices, which is mostly the futuristic religion warrior side of his career. So I'm going to recommend instead uh, one of the best genre mashup movies of all time, which is Westworld, starring Yul Brynner as futuristic cowboy cyborg that's murdering the denizens of a funhouse resort. We'll take you on the vacation of a lifetime. Directed by Michael Crichton, it's hilariously good.